In this week's edition of Convocation, we'll be talking about what a non-profitable organization is doing for the people of the 7th and 8th districts here in the BVI. Happy holiday, seasons, greetings, Merry Christmas, all best for this season. We're here on Convocation again for this week and it's the joyous time of year. So we're going to be featuring something that brings joy to the lives of people, not only at Christmas time, but all year through. With me today is a very ambitious young man, a young man who I admire very much because of his passion for community. With me is Mr. Chesley Studdard. Chesley, it's a great pleasure to have you this evening on the program. Oh, it's a great pleasure of mine as well, Kathy, to be here on Promocation. I mean, following this program is a very enthusiastic program, and I hope it gets you know, the recognition that it definitely needs. Okay, and you're helping us to do that. Yes, <laughs> and, and I do. Chesley, for a bit about yourself, people don't know that much about you. Mm -hmm. Some may know you very well. I tell them already, I admire your style. I like the ambition you have. Okay. But tell me a bit about Chesley. Okay, um, well, I, you know, born and raised in a BVI. I was born on a people's hospital, <laughs> the old building, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and then I grew up I grew up in Huntam Scott when I was about one to three, and then I moved to East End, where I spent uh, all of my childhood. Okay. So from there, you know, I went to Francis Ledsam. Uh, from after that, I went to high school. After that, I went to East Lafferty Stout. And from there, I went to college. And now I'm back as an engineer and project manager. Um, growing up in East End was, you know, as, as it was back in those days, was Quite interesting, you know. We as young boys then, you know, enjoyed ourselves. We play basketball, baseball, we go see, jump, bridge, you know, do all kind of things <laughs> that boys used to do. Yeah, no, you know, and and though I I feel that this generation that's coming up now, I we we have see, we have seen the distance. We have seen the distance that some of the guys, some of the boys them are not really being out there as before and getting out that exposure that we had back then, they're more into this technology. Mm -hmm. And we, as my generation, we call ourselves the millennials, and we, we are the generation that bridges the old ways with the new. Okay. And we, we try to make sure that the generation that comes after us understands that it ain't all about video games. Sometimes it's good, it's good to interact with each other face to face. Yes, okay. So what what has uh, you done? I, I know for a fact that you and a few others have formed a new uh, group or organization, a non-profitable organization that is giving back and helping to reach to these youngsters. Oh, um, right, Cathy. Um, the new organization um, that will be coming in January is named Reaching Out. It's a non-profit organization uh, geared towards helping the community in the 7th and 8th district. And we just decided to start there because that's, from demographics, is one of the biggest, you know, population densities in the country. Um, that's where a lot of people gather, live, and so forth. So we decided to start there and mentioned we might branch out and go to other districts if, if we get the support and, you know, the, and, the give, and the financial part of it. Okay. Yes. You know. Talk about that. Uh, you, you keep saying we. Mm -hmm. I know you're the vice president of the group. Uh, I think it's Kevin Letsam is yes. the president. Tell me about the composition of the group. Um, well, right now it's me and Kevin. Currently, we we are talking. We have since all all giving back. You know, in the media, we have gotten a lot of phone calls from other people who want to be our public relations officer and treasurer. But I cannot say currently who they are until we have the, the sit, formal, formal sit down and see how passionate they are about giving back to their community. So for now we're just me and Kevin and and our, and our, and our secretary which is Charlene Davis. Okay. Yes. So tell me so far what has the group done and what what are your your, your future plans? Well, currently our first we our first initiative was to get, give back in an area that was passionate to the 7th and 8th district, which is basketball. Because growing up, 
Every boy in, in the Eastern area used to go to Greenland or Parramatong basketball court and play basketball. And recently the YEP uh, program has came on stream and they also have a basketball court. And we, we decided that, okay, we have two public recreational facilities that everybody uses, but you know, the YEP Center was designed to gather young people to mold them into something better for the community and, and the territory at large. Mm -hmm. So we say we will, we will donate something to enhance the YEP facility okay. and, we gave back, and we gave back two shot clocks for the basketball court. They wow. are currently being installed. Um, I, I, have, I have yet to hear from the, the director for when they go online. Okay. So we will see when that goes online, hopefully. Okay. And you know, we, we say that if, if you have a passion for basketball, you have to have the facility and uh, the equipment designed to help you build in that area. So that was, the, that was one of the fundamental reasons because we have a lot of leagues. We have the Tong League mm -hmm. and the famous Save the Seed, yes. uh, Junior Fraser Save the Seed Basketball yes. League, which is a very one, hot one. And then we have the Virgin uh, Islands Summer, Summer, Summer Splash. Splash. Yeah. <laughs> so we have leagues going on. So basketball is a part of us. Yes. It's not going anywhere no time soon. And what are some of the things that you have planned coming ahead? Um, right now we have two initiatives. Um, one is for law enforcement. Um, mm -hmm. we, we, we're looking at something for law enforcement. It might be police, it might be firefighting. Wow. Wow. We, 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 let's keep the suspense and oh, see when right. we pop in the media all again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're looking at an, another initiative, um, do some cleaning up, you know, okay. and, we, and, you know and that kind of stuff. So we, 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 we are, so far we have ideas mm -hmm. and we have things to push forward. We just, you know, have to start doing the famous accent for the, I'm yes. Just going to ask, <laughs> just going to ask that question. How do you get your funding? Well, we, How we, How you plan to? Well, we, well, we start asking, you know, um, representatives and, you know, um, former candidates and stuff like that for, you know, donations, cause, you know, they are the people that say they're passionate about the community. So I want to see how passionate they are oh. in their pockets <laughs> as well. <laughs> So, so, so far we have gotten some good feedback from them. They say when we have something concrete and we can show them, you know, what we're going to actually do, mm -hmm. they will start contributing gear forward, gear forward. So they're making sure that the organization is just not high air ideas, uh -huh. but concrete written, let's go. Okay. Well, because I know you, Chess, and mm -hmm. because I know Kevon, mm -hmm. I know that what you set out to do is going to be a success. You guys don't like failure. Keep on always. Uh, I do. I ain't need nothing for failure, yeah. and I know that is of you too. Yeah, he, he rubs off on me in that area. <laughs> but I, I, I have grown on, on some philosophies as well that, you know, that they say one failure is a stepping stone to greatness. Just success. Yeah. So that's it. It just, it just. You have to learn from them, and you go far from them. And that's what I always go through in life. You know, I, I try to get the best, mm -hmm. but if I fail, I look at what the errors were and then try again. See why I love you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for agreeing to come on our program for this edition. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Because this is going to be aired first on Christmas Day, mm -hmm. I give you the opportunity to say to your audience a Merry Christmas. Uh, well, um, my name is Chesley Studdon and I wish in all the people in the British Virgin Islands that watching Promocation a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's and hope to see you guys on all the festive grounds and spending money in the territory. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Ain't no Christmas like a provocation Christmas, huh? Okay, we want to thank you so much for tuning in to this very special edition of Provocation. I want to take this opportunity on behalf of myself and the entire production team, Dorian and the others, to say a Merry Christmas to you and yours. And when you're eating and you're taking a drink, you remember, call a shot for us too, okay? So if you have something interesting you want to promote via Provocation, don't forget, give us an email at video and audio productions at gmail.com and it's very important that you hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. I'm Kathy Richards and as always we say you have been promulgated. <laughs>